Hello YouTube, it's the Show, Pokemon Blue, let's play part... 23. 23. In the last part, we finish off this design, and we're now going to fight Jerk. This is our third rival battle, so let's make it free for free. You're also talking about a, a, a third Pokemon movie. Oh yes, the third Pokemon movie. Uh, well, you, you th um, Brock had just been defeated by Molly, if you... Yeah, her fan feed basically annihilated him. Yeah, an experienced gym leader lost to a five-year-old girl. <laughs> I think you just sort of lost all your gym leader status there in one name. <laughs> I, I, I assume her uh, Pokemon were powerful. Um, no, um, basically Molly can't be beaten because she controls the um, world around her. Because the Crystal Powers is basically things that she wished for. And everything inside the Crystal Powers is part of her subconscious, so therefore she can't be beaten by, in Pokemon battles. Right, uh, if, you, if you can make sense of that, you're a better man than I. <laughs> I've got, you know too much about Pokemon. Oh, possible, yeah. Anyway, if it, if it sounds like we're having a bit bit of trouble uh, trying to figure out where the hell we are, that's because uh, well, the ca the camera's battery died, and we spent the last two hours just sort of piddling about. Yeah, we played some Kirby's epic yarn. He played it. I watched and grimaced. Um, I never actually watched the first episode of um, Pokemon Black and White, the TV show. What did you think, Adam? Yeah, whilst, whilst we were waiting for the battery to charge up, I uh, jumped on the internet because he said I had to. <laughs> and I watched the Pokemon Season 15 first episode where they went, where Ash, his mother, and Professor Oak went to the. What region was it called? Univa. Univa region. It was just an hour ago, you've already forgotten. <laughs> I, I, I just. That just shows you my attention span. There's no boobies on screen. I can't focus anymore. <laughs> no one's died. Why do these fuckers st still sort of wander around looking happy? Why does Team Rocket not fire these idiots? Why is Giovanni still alive? Why isn't Ash older than ten yet? You know, it's it's just one of those things that it just doesn't fit. And uh, you have to realise the puck when you is run, runs on Nintendo logic. In Nintendo land... No people... one dies, no one gets fired, no one grows. <laughs> and when you do die, you just cry yourself back to life. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. And after... Uh, drunk oh yeah, and there, was, there was this... Uh, this extremely well-tanned... Girl wandering around with something living in a overly sized hair that likes jumping off trees. <laughs> so fair enough, that didn't really go anywhere. And Pikachu is now useless because he attacked a cloud. Uh, 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 yeah. And there's this freak with blonde hair who's quite frankly the biggest jerk on the planet. And hey, I swear, I, and I swear the grass starter is his most smug-looking twat in existence. <laughs> right, moving on. Um, after um, Molly beats Brock, Misty has to fight her and she fails miserably, despite being a second gym leader, therefore she should be stronger than Brock. And they end up fighting in the ocean with her, which Molly summons so they can breathe underwater and fight with water Pokemon. Because we're, apparently we've gone from Nintendo logic to Blitzball logic, where everyone can hold their breath for like hours on at a time. Hey, we beat him! Were we even paying attention to him? No, I just tap buttons. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're raising your your Pokemon. We well, heard there was a cut a cut master on board. He's just a seasick old man. But cut itself is really useful. We should go see him. Smell you later. You're not going to speed up his exit? Oh. I thought that was our little thing. We sped up his exit. <laughs> I couldn't be asked pressing the button. It wasn't worth it. Okay. Uh, uh, go on. What voice should I give him? Okay. <laughs> uh, dude. I feel hideous, man. I'm tripping out of my head. Uh, 
Seasick, dude. Bogus. The what? The water. It's so trippy. Dude. <laughs> did he say bogus? No, I think that's more surfer, dude. Carry no, on. That's um, Bill and Ted. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Air guitar. Which somehow works. Uh, yeah, moving on. Did we rub the captain's uh, uh, back? Oh, bloody hell. I thought I was going to get... Call them perform a highlight manoeuvre. <laughs> rub, 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 rub. That is so... That can be taken out of context in so many ways. Dude, thanks, man. I was, like, totally tripping out my head that you rubbed my... Yeah, and I said, I'm better. Feel much better now. You want to see my cut technique? I beg your pardon. <laughs> I could show you if I wasn't ill. High. Dude, so high. I'll teach you Pokemon with this HM thing. Well, I'm going to teach the cut HM to Weeping Bell because he's the only Pokemon my team that... No, I'm not sick anymore. Thanks, <laughs> man. <laughs> Creatively. Uh, after um, Misty gets defeated, Ash eventually finds his mother, and she um, they try and escape, but Molly comes up and says, "You're not taking Mama away." I'm like, "Oh for Christ's sake, she's not even your mother." I just like to point out that uh, HMs are like TMs, only you can use them as many times as you like, and if you you, you got to be careful who you give it to because they can't unlearn the move. Unless you find a move deleter. And he's right at right, the right, end of the game, isn't he? Yeah, he is towards the end of the game, from what I remember. I'm going to forget rap. That's also some of that I noticed on that episode. I couldn't help but notice that Asher's mum looks like some kind of dead-eyed statue. Yeah, for some of that reason, Ash's mum has bigger eyes than every other character in the series. I don't know why. And that is... that is um, Epic cutscene. That is saying something for the anime. Anime style. And this is the epic cutscene. <laughs> bye bye, SSN! Watch out for icebergs! Icebergs, buddy. <laughs> yeah. And um, Pokemon! Ep yeah. Especially the Waylords! <laughs> Pure epicness. Yes. Uh, excuse me if I don't ejaculate with awe, but uh, no, that. <laughs> yeah, moving on. What were we talking about again? And after. Um... Oh, yeah, Pokemon movie. <laughs> right, so. Brock and Misty have been defeated, Ash has rescued his mother. Yeah, after that happens, uh, Molly comes upstairs saying, You're not taking Mama away because. Apparently, she's still under the belief that she is her mother. Yeah. Um, yeah, Molly, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... Ash gets into his big Pokemon fight with her, and, uh... All his Pokemon end up getting pretty much an there by Entei, because Entei is stronger than all the, um, bodybuilders of the world put together, combined with everything in the world. It's just godlike. It's just nothing stands its way. It's one of the three legendaries from the Silver... Is it silver? Yep, silver. Yeah, sil sil silver gold era. See, uh, era two, generation two, what the hell you call it. Um, and then I think Ash falls out a window. Good. I can't remember Did how... someone finally get sick of him and throw him out? I can't remember actually how this happened, but he falls out a window. He ends up, um, and he, and Charizard comes to save him. Because Charizard sees this the entire thing on television. Cause Pokemon film, watch television? Because the film crew was filming this event because it's news. <laughs> and this is the third gym YouTube. The third gym is a lightning gym. Um, ask water always going to be no use at all here, so we're going to stick to Golem, Weeping Bell, Drowsy, and Pikachu. Hopefully they'll get us through this. And after um, Charizard comes in, yeah, he puts up a brilliant fight against Entei and almost beats him, but Entei knocks him to the floor and eventually stands on the poor thing's neck. It's like, this will end, it's gonna kill the thing, it's gonna deal the finishing blow. 
you know, death yeah. in a Pokemon. You're, movie. Sure, you're desperately trying to make this sound more impressive than it actually is. <laughs> death in a Pokemon movie, you know, this is getting serious now. And for some. Why, they'll just get the, the relatives to cry them back to life. <laughs> Good point. And um, for some reason, reason, Molly says no more fighting because she realizes that fighting is bad. As you do, yeah. <laughs> do I hear the plot of the first movie coming back here? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Did he actually remember it this time? It's not one of those bullshit and it was all a dream no, no, uh, thing. No, uh, that doesn't happen. Oh, God for that. And soon after that, eventually, Entei gets him out of the um, Crystal Fortress, they escape the unknown, everybody's happy ever after, and Molly's dad comes back. Hooray! Whoa. Fucking hell. And then comes... Well, I just want to say one thing about the first Pokemon movie again. The first Pokemon movie's plot involved Mew versus Mewtwo be who was stronger, Mew or Mewtwo. But did, that actually, did that ever actually get sorted out? Mewtwo realised that um, just because you're a clone doesn't mean you should try and um, take over the world. You should you should still embrace the gift of life and try and enjoy life. You should make parodies. <laughs> I think I'm a clone now. There's always two of me just like hanging around. I love, I love that song. The second Pokemon movie's plot was revolving around poaching because the um, cause the main villain wanted to capture all three legendary birds for his um, for poaching reasons. As you do. Every chromosome is a <laughs> hand-me-down. Oh, Weird Al Yankovic. Is the fourth <laughs> Pokemon movie, well, it was called Pokemon Forever. It had like two storylines. Pokemon Forever. Yes. What, the first storyline basically involved a person from the past who had a little sketchbook he drew Pokemon. And the, the second storyline was in the future. And the main Pokemon in this in this movie was Celebi. And the idea was that Ash would go back into the past and meet his character who would add the sketch pad. And the person with the sketch pad is actually a character we've seen so many times before. It's not really... It's, it's obvious when you figure out who it is, but it's yeah, he... clever when you don't figure it out. Yeah, he actually quizzed me on this earlier, and I got it right first time. Yeah, the uh, person from the sketch pad is actually Professor Oak when he was a child. Which I thought was pretty clever when I first saw the movie, <laughs> but now that I think about it... It's bloody it's, obvious. Yeah. I'd never seen it before. He asked he asked me to guess, and I got it straight away. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, predictable. So, as you can see, in this gym, we've got... Fi- uh, one, two, three, four, five... Fifteen bins... And in, so, in two of these bins, there, there are two switches. Hit both switches, you can get up to LT Surge. It's simple. The trouble is finding out which which bins have the switches in them. Yeah, most of the trainers in this gym will have lightning buff one. If you've got a rock type like I have, this is the Breeze. I think I've covered this before, but I'm going to say it again. Uh, when you're looking for these switches, Adam, just look around. Go on. Well, Talk about the puzzle when we're beating the trainers. I think, I think, I think I've already talked about it now. Think about it. Anyway, uh, back to uh, Pokemon game. Oh. Voltorb. It's a Pokemon without a button. Pokeball yeah. without a button. <laughs> yeah. And the whole plot of Pokemon Forever is that this scientist old. who was kicked out of Team Magma because they wanted him to create a Groudon from a Groudon fossil. And when he failed, he asked for more money to actually make his research work. They said, fuck off, basically. <laughs> right. he already invested so much money in this guy, and he was basically a failure. Right. And so, the scientist comes up with this brilliant idea, and he catches a stellar bee, he can create, this mach- he's making machines strong, so he can actually make a ground and come out of a fossil. This is going on Doctor Insane logic here! Because as we all know, Celebis are the power source for all clone e- equipment. We're on 1410. Right. Celebi, the all-purpose battery pack for your cloning needs. <laughs> anyway, you two, after we've killed this Magnemite, we shall end the part. We we'll do it quickly. <laughs> hey, with you two. On that note, we're in the part. See, See you later. later.